Hey Wargamers, welcome back to the channel, Death From Above Wargaming. I'm Aaron. I'm Tom. Wolf Dragoons. <laughs> Assault Star. Just when you thought oh, Wave oh, 2 was and, over. Oh, and yeah, our little and buddy. And our little buddy. This is the, uh, the multi-part Stormcrow from Creative Juggernaut. It's a premium miniature. Premium. And it's a B or TC variant, so we get some extra little bits. So yes. we will, what, are we gonna, are we gonna build this tonight? We're yeah, gonna, build it, it's like arts and crafts tonight. We'll just take <laughs> it apart, we'll show everybody the quality of the pieces. Yeah. Uh, Colonel Matt Steiner will be proffering me with some fully assembled pictures that we will uh, we'll splice in. Yeah, he's been real excited about these I ones. Know, I know, he, uh, he's been doing all sorts of great things with them. So, uh, we're gonna do what we do, guys. We're gonna dive into the box, we're gonna open it up, we're gonna get the mechs on the turntable. I'll taste them. Tom will do a taste test, and then we'll give you our rating on a scale from one to 10. Yeah, one one to ten LRM, LRM ten. <laughs> what? Is there is there a one LRM? Yeah, battle armor. I think have an LRM. That's one. amazing. An LRM one. I think so. So from an LRM one to an LRM. How many LRMs? Do, how many yeah. LRMs do you get? <laughs> oh. We're insane. All right, guys, stay tuned. Deep dive. Wolf Dragoon's Assault Star, and the Stormcrow B or TC. Who Coming knows? right up. All right, we are back. And for my first magic trick. Whoa! We got two. This way we can each look at the minis at the oh, same time. Oh, that's such a good idea. Isn't that a great idea? Um, and you pre open them? Yeah, I, well, I, opened, uh, <laughs> I opened that one. Oh, I already love this. <clears throat> I'm already in love. I'm gonna get this out for you here, Tom. And this one doesn't even have cards in it? I got it right here. Okay. So let's start with the cards, Ooh, shall we? I do love... Oh, you want to start with the box art? I mean, I do love that box. Let's check out the box art. Let's get this, mm -hmm. get this on that extra close-up cam if it'll work. I don't even know. We'll see. You're welcome. You're welcome, YouTube commenters. <laughs> we have an extra close-up cam. Um, anyway, the box listen, art... We listen to our audience. The box art is sick in yeah, this. It's really um, cool. Absolutely love it. Very, very cool. All right, so let's talk about, let's talk about these cards, Tom. Shall we? I mean, who doesn't love Timberwolf artwork or Mad Cat, whatever you want to call it? I'm a Timberwolf kind of guy. Are you your Tim? Yeah, I think we talked about this. Really, your Timberwolf? Is this just from the game? Yeah, I just don't. Some of the Inner Sphere names are um, cool, like Mad Walter. Cat. <laughs> but Mad, Mad Cat sounds like the name of like an '80s hair metal band, like yeah, Mad Cat. Yeah. Mad Cat. Mad Cat. Mad Cow. <laughs> Somebody was asking for that song that you were singing, the Night Cow song, to be on our next soundtrack. Ooh. By the way. It's, it's coming. It's the next hop. So let's talk okay. about what's in here. So we've got a blackjack, a rifleman, an archer, a timberwolf, and an annihilator. Fun facts. Number one, the blackjack and the archer are slightly different. They're different variants. Yeah, they totally and I, look different. And I have uh, some originals. We're going to get them all up on the turntable. We'll compare. Um, the timberwolf and the rifleman are just reposed. And the Annihilator is brand new. And Dude, it is, it's a beefcake. So it's a beefcake. Top, top... Three, it looks like it has a little tiny bear head. It's pretty great. I like, mean, much like the turkey, so it could have a restaurant inside of it. Maybe it's yeah. just a Chick-fil-A, though, something quick. Dude, that's like top five mechs for me. Really? 100%. And actually, this whole box, like, super crisp. I can't wait to, like, fondle them a little I've bit. noticed that, too. They look, the lines like, on these are really, really good. Really good. I'm very really good. And it actually, they feel a lot... Um, Harder? I don't know. Yeah. We'll, we'll talk. We'll, yeah, let's pull them out. We'll so, first. well, oh, I mean, yeah. just going through these. So there's 10 double-sided cards. Wow. That means there's 20 pilots. Pilots such as Climb. Oh, and like, and they're tied to specific mechs. Right. I like Stacy it. Church. Johnny, T Johnny Titania Cravel. <laughs> Titania. 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 <laughs> uh, Jamie Wolf, the legend, the oh, man, yeah. the myth, the legend, yeah. Um, Ooh, Wasim Nafe, that's a great name. Michael Strake, which is, is actually uh, Michael Strahan, yeah. They just couldn't fit all the letters. <laughs> Arthur, Ar Arthur Blankenship. <laughs> that's that's somebody's character. I believe it. It's a great name. Bobby Is L. it his real name, you think? No, I don't know. Okay, it's a great, if, if that's your real name, that's a great name. 
Arthur Blankenship. It sounds like an 80s... A self-professed nihilist. Though. Blankenship doesn't mind serving in a unit renowned for its hard luck. 100% that's a real person. Yeah, definitely. It's gotta be, because nobody, nobody would come up with that unless nobody. it was like a, your own character. Unless it was your own character. Um, Alpha dude, Strike he's Hearts. Got, he's got a laser pistol hip shot. Oh, that's good. Dude, what about that name? Argos Nash Nasimbeni? Bricks I was just gonna say Brixley Balls, pretty great. <laughs> Do you think anybody would have slipped in like a like a like, like a Seymour Mike Butts? Hunt? Yeah, <laughs> Seymour Butts. <laughs> Oh, why are we like, just thinking of this now? We should have submitted so many names. Just like bought like yeah, all yeah. these characters, <laughs> Amanda Hutton. And they, they would have gotten to a point where they wouldn't even vet them because there's so many, and they would have just, just like just gotten through. In. Oh. Stackpole would be writing a novel. He'd be like Amanda Hug and Kiss. <laughs> <laughs> Mountain her I'm atlas. Gonna die. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna lose my. All right, people oh want to see. Why don't people want to yeah, see Max? Please. I'm all sorry. Right. I'm so sorry. I know people wanted to see Alpha yeah. Strike. Uh, Close-ups last time. I'm not gonna give you close-up self strike cards. I'm sorry. I'm just gonna for give complaining. you close just, just for complaining. Just for yeah. I am gonna give you yeah. close-ups of the mechs though. Let's talk about the mechs. Oh, uh, what, what do you want to start with? I'm gonna start with the blackjack time. Okay. Smallest to largest. You're gonna show them. I'll just look at them. Okay. <clears throat> this is the original blackjack. All right. So I'm gonna let you hold them side by side. Oh yeah, missile pods. All right, so the new ones does have right. First thing you notice, it's got those pair of missile pods and on also, there, and the arm the arms are different. And it doesn't have small well. lasers on the torso. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Very yeah. cool. Um, otherwise, though, you know it's very the familiar, right? You can see exactly you know what this mech is, what it's got, what it doesn't got. I think uh, it's really well done. I like the pose. I like the way it's stepping. Right. Yeah. Interesting. We were saying they looked a lot sharper. This one not on the back. Look at that. Look how much sharper the jump jets well, are. This one's one. primed, so I don't know. If oh, that's that yeah. It, that would totally yeah. That yeah. would highlight a lot. Okay, fair yeah. enough. Yeah. Thanks for telling me, Aaron. God, make me like an idiot. <laughs> no, um, dude. These are yeah. I I do yeah. like the. I think I like the leg. The legs on the. I do too. I mean, I I like the action pose. This one's in somewhat it's of a an action knock pose, but, a little but bit, yeah. But yeah, this guy's yeah. Good. Okay. Right. Okay, Blackjack. Uh, I mean, I like the original one. Yeah, this one's really cool too. Um, I, I, I want somebody to mod some like some of those. Um, I, I know these are probably what lasers or something, but it would be really cool to have drum. Uh, oh, the like auto cannon yeah, drums. Like an auto cannon drum on it. That'd be sick looking. I'm because they're like sure high can, mounted. It would look Forge World. Cool. Um, some. You know what I wanted to look up real quick on Sarna, Tom, one of our favorite Sarna. sites. Sarna.com. Um, sorry, dot net actually. Is no. it really dot net? It is dot net. Oh, I know. Tom, have I been going to like some weird knockoff site? It's like stealing all my information. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, please enter your, 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 your social security yeah, number like, to access this, this mech variant. So the, the Blackjack 2 was introduced. Well, this isn't the Omni mech, right? This is just the, the BJ2 introduced in 3052 by the Federated Suns. It's two ER large lasers. And it's got four Streak SRM2s on it. Very cool. Oh, that, okay. Um, streak SRM2s. Mm -hmm. It's got four of them. So you can see, wow. it's, it's, and it's done right. You know, it's a got... Crit, a crit machine, I think they call that. It's a crit machine. Jeez Louise. All right, so very cool. Uh, let's take a look at the... Yeah, can I see the cards? I'm curious what variants they all are. Yeah. Because they're so... not on the box, so... So the, for the Blackjack, they've got the Blackjack C. Okay. And the black oh, the jack. Beach 2. Okay. Two. Yeah. So what's so the C? The C, I think, is a... You know, I always get confused, four, but four, I believe three. the Cs are when they refit it with clan technology. I was going to say, because that thing is doing I don't even substantially know. more damage. I don't even think this thing is on the, the Blackjack C. I don't even think it's on Sarna. Oh, that's weird. You know, I say it does more, but it doesn't have overheat. Mm. So it does the same, but without overheat. And right. I guess you can't do overheat at long range anyway. So right. That's actually pretty good then. Okay, what's up next? Um, Go down. Let's do the rifle then. Whoa, crossing it up. Okay. All right. Now, is so, this any different? Um, is it, it any look different? Longer. So, it is not, in fact, different. And I've got three Same here sport. for you to just look to prove, at. Just to All prove right. that you're right. So, we've got this is a unmodified rifleman. Okay. This one I modified the pose. Okay, so um, they, they dropped the guns. You know, right. So, it is, it is just reposed. But otherwise, I think it's it's the same. Now, are well, the guns no, looks, are the guns yeah. longer? Oh, they are. Look at that. Yeah, just slight. Uh, are they? They're yeah. not. That's Dude, a yeah, they are. They're not. Hundred percent. Okay, maybe not. It's just really? it's an optical illusion. No, this one. They, 
Hold on, I gotta see. I mean, it is camouflage, so it's hard to see. It's hard yeah, to see. Yeah, you're, you're right. You're right. I think they're the same. Somehow they do look bigger though. But I, no, I do because look at the bottom. Look at the bottom barrel. I, no, I don't I, think why so. Is it? I think just because it's painted, you know, it picks up. Yeah, it, wow, what I, a difference that makes, huh? I will tell you, I looked at this mech for differences, and even on the back of the box it says they're just reposed, and I couldn't see any differences. I think it is just strictly um, in a new post. So I'm gonna put this one here. This is right next to my Atrium Knights one, which interestingly is posed in sort of a similar way, like with the one, the one foot back and the one foot forward. Um, but it's substantially different than the um, than the stock pose, which I think is is worth. I feel it. like I'm being tricked here, but yeah, they look the same. Yeah, so you can see the stock one, right? You see all three yep. there. Um, pew pew. Yeah, it's it's a rifleman. Uh, the next one is the archer. So the archer also is uh, is different. What so what this is, is the two W, I think. So this this you get this the C two. And the 2W for the rifleman, since we didn't mention, you get the 3N, which is the standard one, and the C3. Um, okay. So, hold on. so I'm going to say with the archer, and I could be totally wrong. Did the other archer have undermounted weapons on the hands? Th it does. Damn. Okay. Yeah. It, they look more know? pronounced. They jumped out at me too, but it does have them. Um, what this has is, if you look underneath the missile launchers, mm -hmm. there's, oh. a, there's a there's there's a SRM Streets. four pod. Yeah, they're just I think they're just standards. Oh, okay. Just SRM four. Yeah, just just regular garden variety um, SRM fours. So I'm gonna put these. Um, yeah, you got the original? Let me see. Get it out. There's the original. Show it off. You, you can take a did look. Did you repose this thing? I did, and I just painted it. Okay, so it is slightly different. Yeah. And then... Like, height-wise, they're good. You know, I think... Now, this was one where the crispness jumped out at me. Um, I think, you know, the cockpit well, yeah. looks really good. Um, and I think the... You know, the details on the back are very sharp on this one. Yeah. The other one's really good, too, actually. I would say, you know, they look a little bit deeper and a little bit more clean than on this one. The backs, I noticed, aren't, these aren't as good as the other ones, but the fronts are better. I, I think it's because they're washed. Painted yeah. and washed. But maybe not. We'll see. Yeah. We'll see when I paint and wash these. Fair enough. But no, yeah, it looks good. I, I wonder, I was going to say, the arms look like they're... Like further out, which is why, like they almost more, like, yeah, like they're kind of yeah. But the, I don't know that they actually are. Like, it's just so funny. Like, yeah. Okay, fair enough. Very good. I still like it. There. I'll put that one there. I do really want to mod one with the with the um, missile bay doors closed because I just I wish I could make it articulate. But did you do that with one? This guy's got one closed. Okay, I like that. I like the idea of them like opening and firing and closing. Right. Which I don't think they actually do. It's because right. you're, just you're a crab open. guy. Crab people, crab people. I have another one on the paint bench, I think, where both of them are closed. Yeah, I, I, like, I like how it looks closed. It looks really, looks yeah. really mean. Uh, yeah, it's very, uh, Big fan. very original. Um, so Timberwolf. <clears throat> so this, this one is just, <clears throat> just strictly a re-sculpt. Um, this one is just 100%. The cockpit looks slightly askew. Really? I don't see it. I might have one eye that's slightly smaller than the other. <laughs> it looks, if, if you trace the lines like in the cockpit. It kind of looks like it's going around to the. Yeah, that's uh, interesting. I don't know, hold, hold it like this though. It looks good to me. Yeah, I'm trying to, I'm trying to draw a line at it. Oh, I'll hold it up to, to the yeah, that's pretty good. camera. It's just my eyes. I think it's an optical. I'm just looking for differences. I'm looking for something You're to looking complain real hard. about. You're I'm looking, looking for real hard. hard. Anthony's I'm going to get out calipers. I'm going to get calipers. I have them in the garage. We'll yeah. get them out. I need a laser. A laser level? Yeah. No, we got to 3D map them, put them into <laughs> the machine. You know. So I do have the um, the legendary Timberwolf too, but I didn't really feel like getting that out and putting it on the turntable. So this is the standard Timberwolf, and there were a couple things if you remember with these Timberwolves. I mean, this looks like the sh off the box art from Mech Warrior Two. I agree. That's the pose from Mech Warrior Two. That is II. that is well, that's a great call out. That is very much the pose. Love the other thing I noticed was like the ears on this one, like the original one, are very wobbly. I 
you don't have that here. Well, this when you touch these, they feel really. Um, They're like harder plastic. Yeah, um, they cured better. You know, but the arms are still a little bit. You can still wiggle the arms around. Well, which is nice. sure. I just mean like it's not. Yeah. I'm not worried about them being brittle. Exactly, exactly. But you know, like looking at the detail, I think it's very, very similar. Um, but this is, you know, this is like just a harder, um, harder plastic overall. So I like it. You just, you are, you are just sprinting to the finish line because you want to get. We should have started with the annihilator. We should have started with it. Yeah. I'm gonna make you sweat it out. Let's talk about the cards for the, <laughs> for the Timberwolf. What's on here, Tom? We have a Timberwolf uh, Prime. Prime. Timberwolf great, Prime. That's a great build. Yeah. Uh, Dude, yeah. Five, five, four. Fifty. Yeah, fifty-four points. Four points. Yeah. It's with so overheat expensive. one. Uh, and then does the, it have overheat log? What does it have? Uh, Case. I have two. No. Indirect fire two. Yeah. That's, that's, that's yeah, pretty good. It's nasty. Twin LRM twenty. Nice. Okay. And then you've got the the Timberwolf T. I. That's it. sixty-three points. Is that more? I have three seven seven and four, four with overheat two. Like you could oh do my nine, God. nine damage with this thing. It's like it's sort of like and a clown would, show. Like, what would you need nine? Like, I'm, hold on, let me count. How I many pips see. does it have? One, two, three, four, what? five, six, seven, eight. It only has eight pips. Oh, like, yeah. So, no, oh, that's still good though. Yeah. With nine, you could get structural on on this with on, on show. right on that's on itself and potentially Just shoot yourself. So Alt Config T. This is a missile boat configuration. It's equipped with Artemis 5, not Artemis 4, Artemis 5 enhanced LRM20 in each side torso. Um, supported by improved heavy medium laser. And ER, so it's got an improved heavy medium and an ER the, medium in each arm. The improved or less heat or are they more range? They do more damage and all sorts of stuff. Really? Okay. Um, so an improved medium does 10 damage. It's a PP, it's a PPC. An improved heavy medium laser does 10 damage. What? Yeah. That's why it does so much. My god. It only shoots 9 hexes or 9 inches at long range, but still that's that's medium laser. It's bananas. That's unbelievable. Yeah. How much heat does it build? Up? 7. Oh, okay. So it is just a PPC. Then. Well, I mean, but, I mean a mad cat has like 4000 double heat sinks though, so I don't think it notices. It's got really good HP. I would like to see that. I need to build that in like Mech HQ or something. Like yeah, that. like I'm pull up curious. a Mega Mech, yeah. Yeah. Um, all right, so here it is. That is a... So this is the this is the Lance. There it is. We're all done. Yeah, I don't even know what else <laughs> you might need out of that. Um, all right, you ready? Are you ready? Yeah. Let's pull it out. I want to see this little bear baby head. Dun, 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 dun. <clears throat> wow. It's so big, Tom. Really, it looks like a little bear, right? Or maybe like a honey badger. Well, that, it looks like a honey badger. badger. It looks like it a honey does badger. look like a honey badger, folks. Oh, I love um, it. I mean, the head is awesome. The canted weapons. You know, and the great thing is, like, this, in my opinion, is exactly why the redesigns are so great. Because it still looks and feels like an Annihilator. Do you have an old Annihilator? Uh, I don't have, like, the original Iron One ones. I have a, a MechWarrior Online one, like a 3D print. Um, it's right behind you, red and white. Just look at the red and white in the front there. Oh it's yeah, the closest one. That's a that's a Chad works. Careful, it's a you gotta grab by the legs. That's I'm not, not going to torso. You want me to bring it down? Yeah, or? bring it down. I don't know if you want to put that on camera or not. Yeah, I mean that's pretty cool. That's a Chad works. Chad, my buddy Chad printed that for me. Thanks, Chad. I love you. And you know it's interesting. I, really I had him picture. scale this. He printed like forty of me, forty of these for me. And I was like, make it bigger, make it bigger, make it bigger. And look at that. I was pretty close. Nailed it. It's pretty close. Let's get that one on the close up. Did he? Did he have to do work on those shoulder things? Because so yes. so often they're like so tiny. Yeah, yeah. Cool. I, I think uh, I think did a little work there. I mean, but here's the thing. You know, the three D prints are cool, um, but this is fantastic. The one thing I really like about this is the arms. I was gonna say yeah. Very right, cool. they're very true to like what you would imagine. Like you know these like recoil housings and all this other stuff. Um, I, I like the feet. The feet are very OG oh, Annihilator, yeah. right? And I like they have the rear. Mm -hmm. I like they're a quad, a quad, quad toe, toe. quad toe, quadra toe, <laughs> quattro, 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 quattro. <laughs> um, I, I really like this part here. These like straight, like lines. Oh, the, here. the armor plates on yeah. the shoulder. I like. Like that's a really nice bit of detailing because that you see how they're inset to that mm -hmm. front, so it gives mm -hmm. this really nice depth. Mm -hmm. You could do some really cool paint on that, I bet. Like your, um, 
The ones I just fought against. You just fight against the, oh, oh, the, the um, Crucis Lancers. Lancers. The Lancers, yeah. yeah. Like how you were doing, like that could be some really cool strike work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, white and red. I'm not painting any more Crucis Lancers. They're done. Ever. It's over. It's over, folks. Yeah, I, lo I love it, though. Um, I love the whole shape of it again. It, it looks, it reminds me of a bear back up on its legs. Yeah. It's that kind of like very yeah. straight-backed, yeah. like it wants to be on all fours. Love it. I'm a huge fan. And like, can I see it next to... An atlas, maybe? How, how heavy is that thing? Up there. Tom, Tom's just going to the shelf, folks. There's a, a atlas with the Crucis Lancers yeah, right let's, there. Let's pull the Crucis Lancers. I was just talking about them. Let's pull it down. Let's pull it so down, how many, how, how many tons is that? 100 ton. These oh. guys are both 100 tonners. And look at that. How do they how do they match how do they match up? They look so different, but they're the same size. You well, know this, what is, I mean? this is what we're talking about with the volume, yeah. right? The head, yeah, like it's just slightly. It doesn't have those shoulders, yeah. but it's so different. Yeah. It's really cool. I think. Again, they did a great kind, job. Kind of like a, like a face-off, like a like, Friday like night a, fight. Yeah, like a um, UFC. I was yeah. trying to think of yeah. the... Yeah. Like, yeah. whoop -ow! <laughs> <laughs> Get off me, Ben. <laughs> back up, back up. Save it for the ring, guys. Save it for the oh, ring. Oh, my God. That's good. Get off me, Ben. <laughs> Uh, you've lost your marbles. I know. Uh, anyway. That's really good. <clears throat> I love it. I'm really excited about it. Um, what are the stats on that thing? Let's see the what's the card. Oh, the card. Yeah. yeah what what variants do we have? And I, I, we should pull it up on Sarn. I'm very curious what like the. Well, you know, so the, the standard. So there's a, there, the, my favorite annihilator, which I think is one of the most broken ones. Is the, I think it's the one E, and it's got four PPCs and forty heat sinks, uh, and it's dirt cheap. It's got it's it's slow but weak armor, and it's you know. TMM zero. Yeah, dude. They move. They move yeah. two inches my lord they're awful so they're just like range and i mean they're not even that rangy like you know ppcs are not you know that well it has great. less armor than the, the timber wolf on the uh, on the 2a but it's only 41 points actually that's yeah. pretty cheap the 62 pointer though nine and ten ten at medium range dude with no overheat it's got ten at medium range wow <laughs> and it has what is the nine? five w it has eight armor, eight structure. That's brutal. That thing yeah, is I don't even piece. see the five W on Sarna. And interestingly, it gives it the role of sniper with what the, the heck is it? Um, you know, I wonder if that's in um, in the rec guides. And it does six six at long range, dude. Yeah, that's that's insane. That thing does is, this have an era on it? Usually, I thought they had little era icons on them. It's underneath your finger. Oh, yeah, they're that's late era. Yeah, yeah. Republic and. Clan. What about the other one? Probably like uh, th this one is basic. Oh, the yeah, the two oh, really? A. The two A is your your bread and butter. That's four LBX ten. Uh, yeah, four well, LBX ten. You know, I didn't do we, that. We should make a point of is looking at the canopy. I'm very always curious to see the canopy on this because I looked on the picture. You can see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the the annihilator. I feel like is very easy. It almost looks like a porthole, like yeah. like on a boat. I like it though. I want to paint it with a little badger head. I'm gonna paint my head. Like with the teeth. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, That's the awesome. canopy. I mean, the rifleman. You know, very, very standard canopy. What's the rifleman like? A sixty ton. Sixty toner. You know, archer seventy tons. Right, looks pretty good. Uh, and then we've got the the timber wolf and Is this timber blackjack. Blackjack? I'm actually excited about the blackjack. I think that's a really cool, like redo, like with the new arms. Yeah. It would have been cool, I, and I know I'm, I'm being picky, but I wish they would have done that with the rifleman. You know, because they have so many different rifleman variants. Yeah, like, not? just change the barrels. You know, that's all you all you really need to do. Yeah. Um, and before I say that out loud, I just make sure. Yeah, they didn't. Yeah, we um, I extensively. I got brought the calipers out. Right. Sure. I mean, I feel like even if you made, you know, I mean, there there's a couple where you know what they're they're PPC and large laser, right? Yeah. Versus auto cannon and large laser. So you could have made one of just even change the barrel. It's easy enough to do. Friction required, arm, but would have been would have been a nice little touch. When do you think they'll just throw out a barrel of bits? Oh god! With like all sorts of weapons, weapon barrels. Oh, when well, these when these speak guys of the printed. devil. Speaking of which, speak of the devil. All right, so let's let's take a look at this thing. Um, so this is Creative Juggernauts, <clears throat> like premium stormtrooper. They did a Black Knight, right? It's in a black night, and then they did the storm crow. Uh, you know, supposedly there are going to be more of these. Did on you the get way. a black night? I didn't. 
I, I tried. Not, you know, it was the Clan Buster one, right? Yeah, the one oh, with the giant two-handed sword gosh, or whatever. Um, yeah, just I for the think sword. It's a one-handed sword, but yeah, it's a one-handed sword. It's more uh, of like a, um, you know, it's more of like a, like a, like a, like a, a, a machete, machete, a, machete. Meat, a meat cleaver. No. Wow, look at this. Yeah. Look at this. Okay. All right. That's a lot of parts. So, what do we got here, Tom? Well, we have a base. We have a base. <laughs> I mean, which is nice. You know. No, I know. Uh, Normally, I have to pay extra for that. All right. So, I'm actually impressed with the level of detail here. I'll take a leg, you take a leg. Oh my god, I gotta look at a leg. So the legs here are 3D printed. Are they? I think they're resin, aren't they, dude? They're I resin. I don't know what... I see some little... This is resin. Well, if, if I've seen resin. 3D printed. Re oh, can be. Yeah. I, th I think Scroggins... Look at this. this would be... Stands up on its own. So I noticed that the although yeah look there is a sprue there it might be um look the, the so the, the the legs have yeah directional different shaped yeah it's images. interesting do they actually fit somewhat or are they casting defects no no they're not oh I mean, mine's slightly differently shaped yeah that is pretty cool so basically there's like little pegs and stuff I was gonna say in this one it's like a key shape so they can only you know. fit on. You can't rotate them. They fit in a specific way. Yeah. Which is... So here's the body. Here's a here's a barrel. Wow, the body's really thing. nice. Okay, that's... What, we just skip over arms? Like, they don't matter? God. Well, there's so many arms. God, you're such a body shamer. <laughs> <laughs> I love the body, Tom. Oh, it's... yeah. I'm an arm man myself. You're an arm guy? I'm a leg man. We know that. Yeah. I think... Give me the straight. I think, you know, like, as they learn more, like, these are test runs, right? I mean, I think these are test runs. These aren't, Wasn't like, Wasn't that, like, $25? Production. It was. It was I'm pretty it was sure it was almost $30 when it was shipped. It's not cheap. Uh, right. You know, it certainly wasn't. But I still think that they're in, you know, sort of the R&D phase, You're being right? very nice, yes. I don't know if I'm being nice. No. I think I'm being pretty fair. You know, and the R&D phase, you know, they're, that's not going to be perfect. I think this is pretty good. I think it looks as good as the plastics. Maybe yeah. over time it gets better. Okay. Is, um, do you think that's like the mission statement there? Like, be at least as good as the plastics, but also offer options? I think and so. And then I would over time so. start replacing them. But, I mean, how, but here, I just have to say, I mean, $25 for that versus 25 for a whole Lance box or whatever. Yeah. That's I paid, hard. I paid 60 for two of those with shipping. Yeah, that's... Like, I don't want to get into a whole thing with this, but like... I don't think I have questions the, about that. I don't think that's going to be their list price. I think uh, my, my, oh, assum so my assumption is like, thing. that's like their, their form of like, you know, investment Kickstarter, if you will. Um, really? So you think over time they will be cheaper? I, they would have to be, right? Because no, I'm not They gonna, sold out of these. Yeah, but I mean, how long? Like, I think there was a novelty aspect to it. I mean, I'm not going to buy a whole force of things like... Yeah, I guess, you know, that's a fair thing. I don't actually know. I didn't, I don't know even who made them, to be honest. Yeah. I just bought them because you wanted, you wanted an extra one. I wanted an extra one. I was like, Tom, <laughs> I, was like, I don't care. <laughs> buy it for me. <laughs> we're, we're straw purchasing mechs to cross state lines with. Oh, my God. We're in it's, trouble. It's illegal. Yeah. Just don't bring them out of the country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so we'll get, we'll get some no, pictures it, here. It looks really nice. Um, it, it does. I mean, whoops. I would have maybe... I'm, I'm curious why they didn't design the joints to be multiposable and they put directional pegs on them, on the arms too. I mean, I think you can still pose them. I mean, they, it has a keyhole in it, so you can't. I mean, you'd have to cut it if you wanted to mount it fully on. <laughs> you could just, <laughs> just want to just put the arms on backwards. <laughs> but like, it fit. I don't know what's I don't wrong. I understand, guys. <laughs> Oh, that's shoot, funny. that's really fun. That's really nice, though. I'm, I'm psyched about the multi-weapons. Could you... Yeah, well, you want to, like... So so what is it? Is it a pair of the same weapons on each arm? <clears throat> and so you can, like, mix and match them? Or are they two different weapons on each build? So this looks like a pair here. Oh, yeah, that's interesting. So, Even the torso has a peg on it. I guess mm -hmm. it's supposed to tell you which way. I mean, I guess if you're an advanced builder, you just cut it off, yeah. right? Um... You know, so, right, so I think the Gauss rifle goes with the... they also could have designed them to fit a mag... I don't know, I'm just... A like magnet, that would have been... That would have been, yeah, solid, right? 
like all the hardware studio stuff, all the 3D prints, like the roof pieces, they all got little magnet holes. Oh, right, in them. yeah. See, I mean, that's, that's some. Yeah, you're free. That's free for you. I paid free. 25 for this, but you have that for free. <laughs> um, uh, it, I mean, seriously, how great would it be if there were. I mean, I guess you could maybe fit a magnet in there. You, you'd have to clean that out a little bit. You'd it's have a little to, too yeah. shallow. That's yeah. the other thing. Like, you, you need. Yeah. yeah if, it's if, since these are 3D design, it's not hard to do that. Yeah. Um, and then just pop that on all the joints in. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so anyway, <laughs> it's it's for that uh, the mission with your stupid. Um, hey, was it sparrow? Fighter? What was it? Sparrowhawk. Sparrowhawk. Oh, Watch yourself, buddy. Bird. Watch yourself. Well so yeah. So the bird. the four laser gauntlet I believe goes with the Gauss rifle, and I believe the uh, what is that? Six, Six lasers minions. goes with. Are those mediums this is or like small? Ultra something, maybe an Ultra 10. I don't even know what the mm -hmm. hell it is. That's it. Yeah, dude, and look, it has the drum on it. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love it. That's a really cool piece. That's a very cool piece. I will say the arms are well done, like, especially the cannon arms. And Matt's, Matt's going to send us over some some pics. You know he's painting it? Is he painting it or something? I don't something? know. Oh, listen, I haven't gotten them yet. So if they don't show up in this video, should we text you should still text go over to, to Matt's Instagram and, and follow him. And then you'll see it over there. Text him. I did. bother him about it. I will just call him right now. <laughs> just give him a big Matt. <laughs> You're my favorite thing to do. I watched that uh, Two Bears, One Cave podcast, and they do that all the time. They just got to call people. It's like, who calls people? We like, should do it. Yeah, it's pretty funny. We, we could do it right now. I'm a big fan of doing it. <clears throat> that's it. Is that the box? That's, that's it. the pieces? That's it, man. Interestingly, yeah, and it came in a little box, um, or a little baggie. I know, no box. <laughs> no box. It's very low production, yeah. uh, you know, uh, effort here. There's no, I mean, it's nowhere near Chilling. that, right? But I, I think this is still... old school. I like it. I it like is kind of old school. Yeah. They're, well, like Reaper's Mini still sells their stuff like that, right? It's mm. just a card on, oh. on a, like whenever we go to those shows, you know, they're just yeah, like maybe. on a, what do you call that? Like a little hook and they're all lined up. A blister pack. No, no. Some, some of them come in the square blister pack. So this is a blister pack, right? Is it? No, like the card, the card with the plastic thing, and you peel it off, like the stuff you get from Aries. That's a blister pack. Is it? I thought this Speaking was a of pack. Aries, what do you call this? I don't know. Okay. Speaking of Aries, uh, so but you can't order this. You there. can't order this. Aries. <laughs> Sorry, Aries. <laughs> Sorry, Derek. This um, is a non-sponsor. This is uh, this is exclusive Barnes and Noble material as of right now. Now, whether or not this will end up. Elsewhere, then your guess is as good as mine. Some people may know. It's upside down. That's a, no, it's not. Oh, the boxes. Turn it upside down. Is there writing on the bottom? Oh, weird. There is. It threw me off. I thought it was only on the top. Here it is. Barnes and Noble exclusive. Um, Wolf's Dragoon Salt Star. Ten out of ten LRMs. I'll give it nine out of ten. Because I wish they would have did something differently with the rifleman. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I mean, just for including that annihilator, like, psh, fantastic. Eleven. Did you order any of these? No, I didn't know about. They were already, oh, they were already sold, sold out, out before yeah. I even knew yeah. about them. I think Randall ordered an extra one for me. Yeah. Thanks, Randall. I mean, the only thing I really want out of it is that <laughs> annihilator, to be honest. Well, I'll lock you for two of them. I'll sell it to you for five thousand dollars on eBay. <laughs> well, no, yeah, you, you have to bid on eBay for it. I'm not. No favorites. No favorites here. Oh my god, that's oh, too that funny. Hurts. Anyway, hurts um, <clears throat> yeah. So anyway, guys, this uh, this is a Wolf Dragoon's Assault Star. Um, we just wanted to get it out as quickly as possible. Um, I'm gonna try to drop this in basically two days. I'm gonna try to cut it, edit it, wow, put it together, and get it on you the lot of glory fiber of the diet. internet. Yes. Yeah, so much. Right through. Right through. <laughs> just, which just well right oiled through. machine. Um, so yeah, we're going to try to get this out to you so that you all can see how cool this is. And <clears throat> I think they're still up on Barnes & Noble's website. I don't know if they're like taking new orders now that the original batch shipped. I'm not really sure. But either way, um, you know, keep your eyes out for them. A couple of things. Number one, if you have not subscribed, please do so. It costs nothing. It costs nothing. It hurts. It doesn't hurt. It, it does not. Promise. It does not. In fact, there's a little icon, Tom, in the bottom of all of our videos and a little DFA, like, watermark, if you will. And you can you just click it. You don't even have to. Yeah. You can just click it. You and can it probably will. ask, like, your Siri or whatever, like, Siri, subscribe. Amazon? Do we have, like... Don't a... say it. She'll turn on. She'll start listening to us. 
and then I'll wake up and my Wolf Dragoon's Assault Stars will be gone. Or there's like four because more. Jeff Bezos will show up <laughs> yeah. and take them. Oh, oh, Barnes and Noble, I see. Okay. <laughs> okay. He just flies his little dick ship over. <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> You're like, it's like the it's like the Austin Powers thing, you know? It's like, is that Jeff Bezos? I wonder if he thought about it. That movie might be too old and he already forgot about Sorry, it. Sorry, I forgot about it. All I can now think about is the is that is the Austin Powers thing. Yeah, it's fantastic. Oh, poor Jeff Bezos. <clears throat> poor Jeff. With his um, trillions of dollars. It wouldn't be a Wave 2 review video without... <laughs> talking about Jeff Bezos. Talking about Jeff. Um, she's listening oh, right God. now. Oh, God. She's if only, listening. Yeah. Um, All right, yeah, so subscribe, subscribe. Like the video if, if you, you want to join us over on Patreon, you can do that. Um, obviously, a uh, little is a dollar a month. Yeah. That's all it takes. That's 25 cents a week. I'm trying to figure out how to post there. Well, I gotta, I gotta open it up to like a team, a team yeah. thing. I haven't oh, done that yet. Works. I can oh, do that. Works. I'm still trying to get Tom on Discord. I it confuses me. I have to say, it. okay, boomer. I can't even use Reddit. No, I don't know. You I drive know. Turquinas. You don't use Discord. <laughs> God, you're so old. Uh, yeah, I've, I've literally, I've tried to use Discord once, and I like could not figure it out. Yeah. I'm so bad at things. I had trouble like figuring out how to like friend people at first. Well, I didn't like, like I, everybody can have the same name. Yeah, I don't want to name names, confusing. but I, I like try to get the channels, and it was like you have to subscribe to things. And yeah. I'm on Slack. Do you use Slack? I got on Slack for some BS thing. That was also confusing. Like AOL, like instant yeah, it's like, messenger. Yeah, it's, like, it's like instant AIM. messenger, yeah. Do you remember when they came out with Trillion and it combined all your instant messengers into one? I've never heard of that. I don't think I was using instant messengers when that was around. Yeah, well, anyway. But, uh, as long as I don't right. have to go on Reddit ever, I hate Reddit. I hate I don't, everything yeah, about Reddit. I don't, I don't like Reddit either. It's like the worst parts of Gmail. <laughs> like, oh. Sorry if you like Reddit. I don't. Lots I like you. Reddit. I don't like Reddit. Yeah. Um, it's not you. It's not you. It's Reddit. Yeah. What Subscribe. else? Subscribe. Patreon. Patreon. Big fan of Patreon. Uh, we got some exciting stuff coming out on Patreon too. So um, check that out. We uh, we're actually gonna give one of these away. That's exciting. I think. We I are. think we talked about doing that. Yeah. 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 I'm mostly like, guys, I hope you like the lighting in here. This is amazing. You got you got some new studio lights. I got it's true. I got some new Patreon. studio lights courtesy of our patrons. Yeah. Brand new LEDs. Yeah, it's I mean it's way brighter in here. They're I so bright, Tom was like, I can't look right into the lights. And I was like, why the hell would you <laughs> want to look right into the lights? Yeah. And I said I said it's something <laughs> I, I have a problem. <laughs> Just stare at the it's lights. Like a, it's like, hey, look, it's the sun. Like, <laughs> oh my god. You no, know, it's, it's it looks super bright in here. I hope this comes across on the camera. Yeah, looks we'll good. see. I don't know. Looks good. Looks good in here. Feels good in here. Um, I was secretly a vampire, like just instantly vaporized. <laughs> <laughs> like you like the new lights? <laughs> so wait, what's the deal with the the um with the box? Did I don't think we ever talked about it what the is it going to be like a a contest like a, a writing a contest veteran again? challenge oh i don't know what it's yeah. going to be yet we still haven't even gotten through our current veteran challenge that's true so i gotta make sure randall actually gets his his stock um and then you know his straw purchases of yeah his wolf dragons. got a launder launder wolf dragon assault stars <laughs> we gotta ship him out of the country us, yeah right, back, <laughs> back into the back country in. yeah. oh my god Hercules. this has gone so off the rails Love it. Uh, what else would I say? Aries Games, I may have mentioned it before. For everything else, guys, including uh, all of the Wave 2 boxes, yeah. stuff from Hardware Studios, the Felder cases, yeah. uh, the books, dice, Aries Games and Minis, uh, that's the number one stop for all of that stuff. So definitely check out that great customer service, very fast shipping. Uh, and that's it, Tom. Do you have any, uh, any closing thoughts? 9 out of 10 LRMs on this box. I want to give it 10 out of 10. Yeah. Um, cause I also like the red lettering. I like the, well, oh, the box, the box itself is really slick. I will. I like that. that it ties in with the wolf dragoons. I also like that it's different from the other ones. Yeah. Um, I'll give it 10 out of 10. There, done, done. It happened. 10 out of 10. 9.5 average. It's pretty good. Yeah. It's more than you can roll on your cluster table. All right. <laughs> you like that? <laughs> it was good. Uh, so this is going to drop on Friday. And then after that, I want to drop our interview with Anthony Scroggins. Guys, we did an awesome interview with this guy. We talked all about Wave 2. 
um, and what's on the way. Um, so you're a... definitely going to want to check that out. And if you want to be proactive, head on over to Anthony's Patreon. All right, you can look them up either Shimmering Sword or Anthony Scroggins on Patreon. Um, throw them a couple bucks. Uh, there's some awesome, awesome artwork and 3D renders, uh, perhaps a, a herald of what's to come. Yeah, it was a really... I had a really good time on that call. Tom had a really I, good time. Yeah, I, I had... Yeah, it was cool. He was a really interesting guy to talk yeah, to. Agreed. Um, <clears throat> agreed. It wasn't... I don't know. That, I think that was the first interview I've done. Yeah. It was pretty good. I, I liked it. I had fun. He's a good guy. He is a good guy. Uh, Zoom was not kind. I think it recorded the whole thing in like 15 frames a second. So apologies in advance. Really? Yeah. But that's all right. You know what? I don't want to tell you right now. Just put it on while you paint. You know what I still by? A webcam. I swear to God, he re he just reminded me like two nights ago, and I was after like, after I edited, yeah, yeah, and you're like, you look interview. like crap, and I was like, I'm, I was like, I was like, tonight, thank you for reminding me, I'm gonna get my webcam, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a mic, it's gonna be my night, yeah, and then <laughs> didn't happen, didn't I? And this is what four, three days, like, oh whatever, I'm sorry, I'll get, I'll order that before I leave. Tonight. Guys, it, it's it's now memorialized on film, it's gonna happen. Which means it's never going to happen. It's never going to happen. <laughs> all right. Well, listen, all of that said, guys, thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed this, uh, this, it's not even wave two. What is it? This deep dive. This, this is wave 2.1. Wave 2.1 deep dive. Uh, it's been like 2.12. 2.12. Yeah. I don't even know. Yeah. So hope you guys, if you have one coming, hope you got a little sneak preview of it. And if you don't. Some people um, already got theirs too. Yeah. I, I saw yeah, a couple, couple people on Facebook yeah, posting about them. Up. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and so hopefully uh, some of you other guys, uh, you know, who didn't get a chance to get one will get your chance soon. Keep your eyes at uh, open at Barnes and Noble. And uh, other than that, hope you guys had a great holiday. Thank you so much for watching. And of course, stay tuned. Always great stuff coming from Death From Above Wargaming. Have a good night.